For today in biochemistry, we're going to look at uh, lipid digestion and uh, absorption. So when it comes to lipid digestion as well as absorption, you'll find that uh, mostly we take in about 90% of the data lipids which are in form of uh, triglycerides. But uh, this may also include uh, cholesterol esters as well as phospholipids. Uh, essential and saturated fatty acids as well as uh, fat soluble vitamins which we said uh, these fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E and D, K. So these are mostly what we get from the data lipids or from the foods that we eat that contains a uh, lipid. Then essentially about 98% of the fat which is consumed in that is absorbed as well as most of it is transported to the heart for tissue for for storage. So most of it is going to be transported to the adipose tissue so that it is kept for later use. And if you look at the adipose tissue, it also uh, helps in uh, maintaining uh, homeostasis in terms of warmth whenever it's cold. So they are transported and kept in that manner. And whenever the carbohydrate uh, storage is depletes, meaning fats are going to be utilized uh, for production of energy. So when it comes to the steps of lipid digestion, which is coupled with uh, absorption, you will notice that the digestion of lipids starts from the mouth. And this is because you have the lingual lipase that uh, begins or starts the digestion of, um, of lipids. Then uh, from there, you are going, it is going to be finished by the gastric lipase uh, from, the, uh, from the stomach. And then from there, it continues until digestion is completed from the small intestines. So the, the lingual lipase basically they remove one of the three fatty acids, leaving the di, uh, disaglycerols as well as the free fatty acid as a product. So once the lipids are broken down, you're going to have a triglycerol being broken down to a fatty acid as well as a disaglycerol. And this is done by the lingual lipase or the gastric lipase once they, yeah, they are involved in the reaction or in the breaking down of lipids. Then from there, you're going to have the major digestion of all lipids which occur in the lumen of the small intestine. So this is where almost all the uh, lipids are going to be broken down from into smaller components or to components which can be absorbed uh, by the body tissue. Here in the small intestines, you are going to have secretions coming from the pancreatic lipids, which removes the fatty acids from the carbons, uh, from the carbons one as well as the three of the glycerol backbone. And this requires uh, for its activity, such as uh, colipase, as well as a small protein present in this particular reaction. So when pancreatic lipase reacts in this uh, chain of fatty acid, the, carbon, uh, the first carbon in the chain is going to be removed, as well as the third carbon in the, in the chain is going to be removed in this backbone of the glycerol, breaking down uh, the, the, the lipid into a smaller component. Apart from that, we have cholesterol esterase. So cholesterol esterase, as the enzyme, this one removes the ester portion of the dietary cholesterol ester to facilitate its uptake across the intestine of villi. So the cholesterol ester is going to facilitate absorption of, um, absorption of, of, uh, of the lipid uh, through the intestinal wall or the intestinal villi. And how does it do this is by removing the ester portion, which is the portion or uh, bio biochem portion attached to a lipid uh, complex. Then apart from that, we have uh, the phospholipase A2. This phospholipase A2 is going to remove the fat acid from the carbon, from the second carbon of the glycerol backbone, leaving the fat acid on the first carbon, as well as the polar head group on the third carbon. And this uh, ends up giving a, a component such as a lysophospholipid. So here what we are saying is you're going to have triglycerol being broken down to two fatty acids as well as the monos, uh, monocyglycerol, and this is done by the pancreatic lipase. Then when it comes to the cholesterol esterase, so cholesterol esterase, the one uh, I'm from mentioning this one, 
breaks down cholesterol ester to cholesterol as well as an ester component as independent components from the lipids. Then the phospholipase A2 uh, as an enzyme, this one breaks down the phospholipids to fatty acids as well as lysophospholipid. So these are the components or these are the enzymes involved in the breaking down of major lipids and this, uh, this breaking down of these lipids are taking place in the small intestines. So when it comes to lipids, you find that um, uh, when it comes to lipids, solubilization of lipids by a biological detergent, this, this takes place by a lot of uh, 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 fluids which are secreted in the small intestines to help uh, solubilize the lipids to a form which can be absorbed by, uh, by the body. So the first thing that helps in uh, making the lipids soluble so that they, can, they are able to be absorbed in the body is bile. So bile acid, which comes from the liver, and this one, uh, this one comes from the breaking down of cholesterol, and as well as converted uh, to bile salts by the intestinal bacteria. So you're going to have bile acid coming in to help um, uh, make the lipids soluble so that they can be absorbed. Remember, cooking oil doesn't mix with water. So how can the body uh, facilitate absorption of, uh, of, uh, of lipids? The first thing is what we are saying is to produce or to make bile acid available to facilitate this absorption. Apart from that, we are going to have bile salts which act in the absorption of lipids by reversibly forming me cells. So uh, you, you see bile salts may need also to be present so that missiles are formed. And by forming missiles with uh, lipids, you're going to have uh, my mono say glycerol, phospholipid, fatty acid, cholesterol, as well as fat soluble vitamins being mixed with uh, missiles to facilitate their absorption. So during triglyceride digestion, the pancreatic lipids as well as the fatty acids and monocyglycerols, they are released at the surface of the fatty mouse uh, emulsion, uh, emulsion droplets. Then from there, you're going to have products of triglycerol, hydrolyze, hydrolysis, which are continuously transferred from emulsion to the droplets to the mixed mouse or uh, missiles rather. So here you're going to have, uh, in hydrosis, you're going to have uh, water being mixed to this um, chemical reaction so that uh, the missiles as well as the uh, lip broken down lipids are mixed together in a form which can be easily absorbed by the uh, walls of the small intestines. So when it comes to uptake of lipids by the epithelial cells lying in the intestines, this occurs by passive diffusion from the mixed missiles through the membranes. Then from here, you're going to have cholesterol, which is converted back to its cholesterol ester from the fatty acids. And then these reattach to the glycerol backbones to form new molecules of triglycerols. So this is how um, uh, solubilization of lipids occur so that they can easily be absorbed in the small intestines. Then once triglycerols are formed, you're going to have lipid products, which are then incorporated into a lipoprotein known as a chylomicron. Then apart from that, the chylomicron is going to be exported into the lymphatic system and then delivered to the tissue such as the adipose tissue as well as the mass of storage. So this is how uh, fatty acids are broken down, solubilized, as well as transported to the, uh, to the body tissue, such as the muscles, as well as the adipose tissue for storage. So this is just a structure showing how uh, breaking, breaking down of, uh, uh, of lipids occur by the action of uh, the pancreatic lipids, and this is taking place in the intestinal lumen to, to a point when it is absorbed, you can see acetylcholine phase coming in as acetylcholine um, uh, facilitating breaking down as well as, uh, and this is happening in the epithelium of the intestinal lumen to a point when the lymphatic uh, vessels now come in to help transport the broken down um, fatty acids. So when it comes to a summary of what we have talked about in terms of breaking down of lipids, here you just have minor digestion, which are triglycerols taking place or digesting 
the, 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 the fatty acids or the lipids in the mouth as well as the lingo as well as the gastric lipids found in the stomach coming in to digest or break down the lipids. So once this happens, what is the next step? We say the major digestion of all lipids takes place in the small intestines. And what happens in the small intestines? You have pancreatic lipids, cholesterol esterase, as well as phospholipids A2 coming in to now completely break down uh, the lipids into smaller absorbable components. Then from there, once these three enzymes coming to facilitate or to completely break down the lipids, you are going to see formation of mixed micelles in the lumen of the small intestines. And it is these micelles that helps absorption as well as transportation of, um, of lipids. Then from there, you are going to see uh, passive absorption of these lipids uh, or lipolytic products into the intestinal epithelium. So once they are absorbed into the intestinal epithelium, they can now easily be exported through the lymphatic system to the uh, body tissue, such as the adipose tissue, as well as the muscles, because these are the structures that are involved in storage of these uh, lipids in the body. So this is how, this is what happens whenever there's breaking down of, uh, of lipids in the body. Just remember to say this breaking down of lipids in biochemistry starts from the mouth and it ends from the small intestines. That's where the complete breakdown uh, takes place. So this is where we'll end with uh, biochemistry today and we'll continue next time.